Hello and welcome to the in your series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the buzzword of the days that is the metaverse. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of mains but also from the general information that you must know about as you must be a social media user. Let's begin with what are the topics that we are going to discuss step by step. These are the topics that we are going to discuss starting with the news. Now, applications such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, they belong to a same parent company and the parent company has been now named Meta. Many of you might be confused if the name of, of Facebook is going to change as Meta, but it is not so because as Google has a parent company by the name of Alphabet, similarly, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, as they all belong to one parent company, they will be coming under the family name Meta. Meta is a Greek word which actually means over and beyond and metaverse in the terms of internet, in the terms of connectivity will be meaning a more integration so of the internet into our lives or more integration of the virtual and augmented reality into our lives. So it feels as almost as if we are experiencing it firsthand. Okay, so if I want to just... Uh, Pick some things out here that would be you must be watching science fiction movies, science fiction movies, even in Indian cinemas, we get a lot of science fiction when we see virtual reality, the presence of somebody through virtual reality who is not present there physically in the moment or at that place, but we are able to interact with them. So Science fiction, as according to Mark Zuckerberg, has been one of the major inspiration for Metaverse. And mind you that Google and Apple and Facebook, everyone is actually developing Metaverse. It's not only Facebook, but Facebook has been very uh, clever when it comes to rebranding. This is a rebranding exercise so that they can put out into the world that they are one of the few companies, one of the first few companies who are taking Metaverse very seriously. Okay, so Metaverse. In simple terms, if I have to tell you, suppose you're watching a movie or playing a game through a tablet, your mobile phone or on the laptop monitor. You might be witnessing certain objects, certain other objects for games and movies, supposedly a tree in the movie or a bike in the game. Or even if you are playing a PUBG or Battlegrounds India that is now known as, then what will be the experience? You will see small objects appearing on the screen and it will be restricted there only. If you are watching a movie, you will see a tree that is restricted to a computer or a laptop, a monitor or anywhere else like if you talk about phones, tablets. But in Metaverse, you will be able to see them Feel if you are present in the game and holding a weapon if in a game, if you are in a game or in a movie, if you're there, you're standing next to a tree. Something like that only is the metaverse. That means feeling everything that is on the screen beyond. And it will not only be restricted to watching something, it will be also going towards playing games through avatars, avatars that I my, my avatar, I will be able to choose as an animated object, animated person. And also through that only, many of your friends can also have their own avatars and they can play a game. And that's something, yes, it does sound like, like next to impossible. It would have been 10, 20 years back. But now it's actually going to become a reality. Not so quick, but step by step. So. If we talk about that the successor of the mobile, successor of the mobile is actually where people can do more than just watching is known as metaverse and people can dance and hang out with friends almost like it is in real time. Suppose your friend is sitting in Italy, you are in India, another friend is sitting in New York and you all want to join for a concert. Then through metaverse you all will be able to be present there in virtual form and you will be experiencing it as if you are present at the concert okay and a form of mixed reality it is it is a form of 
mixed reality in the sense that it is going to make it feel that you are present there but also experiencing it and kind of cut off from the current world suppose i am sitting in my living room and i am playing a game and virtual reality augmented reality have been working simultaneously in such a manner that i would not be feeling that i am sitting in my living room but i am actually present in the game and the combination of augmented and virtual reality will not only introduce digital elements into the real world but it will also merge internet with the virtual world if you want to understand more graphically what i am trying to say here you can watch go and watch on youtube the connect 2021 where it is in very depth for like one and a half as it has been explained by the ceo of meta mark zuckerberg himself about the different usages and how the virtual reality augmented reality will work simultaneously to create a surrounding which is metaverse and what how many how much time is going to be there till we actually get to metaverse it's in a nascent stage many companies such as apple google facebook meta they all are working in tandem to build interoperable objects so that it is not restricted to some just one platform but many other platforms how suppose you play a game where you can buy a t-shirt and you buy it but if that t-shirt is not interoperable or used up in some other platform at some other platform it will become more restricted and not affordable so what is what are these companies doing they are trying to formulate a policy along with different stakeholders to have common digital platforms so metaverse can go over and beyond and not restricted to some one platform okay let's move on and talk about augmented reality and virtual reality see augmented reality puts things into users real world that means augmenting them through some kind of glasses such as facebook also is working on a glass wearing glass known as aria so what will happen through those glasses you will be able to augment the internet into your reality and that's 25% virtual and 75% real and with ar users actually have a connect with the real world that means where they are actually standing and they also experience the virtual reality whereas in virtual reality where we are puts users inside the virtual worlds completely immersing them i am here in a studio trying to teach you but if i want to switch on to virtual reality i could be in a forest i could be in mountains and i would feel like that i am in a forest or in or mountains so it's like that and virtual reality is 75% virtual and 25% real it's completely immersive in nature you will be immersed into it and the user is in virtual reality it is he or she is isolated completely cut off from the real world the experience is such immersive okay let's move on and talk about the impacts first impact it is going to have is the world will get compact and compact in the sense it won't matter where you are sitting if you want to join a group of friends or if you want to have work from home it will be in such a manner that physical boundaries or geographical boundaries they will not have any sort of prohibition and they will feel like as if they have disappeared and it doesn't even matter now if you have to travel it's kind of substitutable your presence your physical and actual presence will be substituted by avatars or even virtual realities you can have work from home in such a manner that your living room will feel like office similarly you can go to clubs concerts video games in such a manner that your avatars are able to represent the actual you it's very interesting better integration that means integration will be such if connectivity is because of the connectivity itself it has been feeling now that it's very important internet is very important 
to be efficient with great connectivity so connectivity and speed of the internet are going to matter a lot for making a work efficient you will be better integrated into your world and it will if it is actually controlled in a manner it won't feel like the internet is taking over the entire world but the work will become more efficient okay moving forward now if we talk about the challenges the biggest challenge is privacy issue privacy issues because we do not have suitable privacy laws suitable privacy acts also how will one common privacy law will be developed between different policy makers stakeholders citizens governments and these app builders so first is privacy second big data can lead to digital imperialism because now everything that we do will be having an impact on the generation of big data a lot of information will be there who will control the information and what manner the information will be controlled so that there is not a monopoly that has been created by the digital imperialists if they have a lot of information they will of course try to have a monetization and capitalization strategy so if i have a lot of information i will try to make money from that information what are the policies will be there that monopolization doesn't occur we don't know yet affordability in the sense that devices which can lead to virtual re augmentation reality everything in uh, to come into play the devices should be affordable in nature then only there will be an actual impact on the common lives on the lives of the common people actually and too much dependence is there if this comes into being it will be too much dependence on the internet our life will look like we do not actually need to be there and we have our avatars that can substitute our presence we have our own real self which can be immersed into internet in such a manner that we can remain distracted for the rest of our days then cut off from the actual reality this is actually the offshoot of the first point i have already told you the impact on mental health we do not know what kind of impact this technology is going to have on our mental health are we and will we actually not be more we will not be putting more effort into making our presence somewhere it's this virtual reality going to substitute the actual presence of the people what impacts will it have on the way we have interpersonal communication everything will be impacted because body language is also an important part of communication right and we forward is first we have to formulate privacy laws and also take into account different policies which the government has mandated time and again to big companies such as google facebook and apple as in the connect 2021 itself mark zuckerberg did say that this year has been humbling and he is ready and other companies are also ready to take care of the app developers so that innovation is not stifled also the privacy and policy of the different governments should be taken into account better management of security needs to be there because if a person is using internet of things if a person is using metaverse of course they would want to use it safely and not do it at the stake and at the cost of their private information experimentation with long usage of augmented reality and virtual reality needs to be there so that we know what impacts does it or will it have on the users okay so let's now move on to our mains based question what is metaverse discuss the challenges associated with metaverse in 250 words okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching